Hey guys, remember the Wizard of Oz? Where he says, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> well, pay no attention to that tarp behind me. I actually laid that out to dry. And as soon as I laid it out, the wind came up, flipped it over, and it folded it for me. So maybe I was supposed to just fold it and put it away wet. I don't know. But anyways, pay no attention to the ugly blue tarp. Um, anyways, um, I got a lot of requests for uh, the the building of this trommel that I showed yesterday in my uh, compost sifting video. And although this is already built, I'm going to put a link below to a guy. He's called, it's called Mike's Hand Trommel. And he didn't have a video on how to build it, but he has a couple short videos on using it and whatnot. And he has a, a lengthy uh, web file that has all the parts and you know instructions on how to build the thing. It's a little bit cumbersome, but I think you can figure it out. But I'll give you a walk around of this if if I if I'm not too shaky with my camera. Uh, it's a it's a little dinky camera, and it likes to you know likes to show every bit of movement. But I'll do a quick walk around so you'll get a close up look at this because he doesn't have a lot of close-up shots of doing it but it's it's really simple to build i made a few modifications to his a few people on the web have done them and so i've kind of taken a few of their ideas and kind of run with it and kind of like hodgepodge them together but um, there really is no wrong way to make these things i don't think it's just a matter of taking these buckets and cutting them down and putting the wire mesh around them putting a slant slant to it and so when you spin the the uh the cage here it just sorts the compost but a lot of people use these for the trommels basically they're they're for a lot of people who are sorting rock and and doing mining gold mining and stuff like that they use them but uh i use a smaller mesh for doing compost and stuff and a lot of people do use these for compost and worm castings and stuff like that so i'll pick up the camera and i'll give you a, a close-up of i'm sorry i'm smelling smoke and i think it's i think i think my wife may be barbecuing or something Wait, I'm the only one home. All right, false alarm. It was a <laughs> a neighbor, quarter of a mile, quarter of a mile down the road. I guess he's burning a pile of brush or something like that. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he threw something in there, some meat or something in there. But it's anyways. Now, uh, yeah, I get this ADD. So uh, it. Um, Oh yeah, the trommel. So I'm going to pick the camera up and I'm going to give you a quick run around, a walk around, uh, and show you just kind of a close-up shot of this. And then I'll put a link below to Mike's page. Mike's It's called Mike's Hand Trommel. And you can go out there and download all of his plans and stuff like that. And it should be pretty simple to build. But if you have any questions, you can just go ahead and um, fire them off if I can answer my will. Okay, so, all right, let's, let's, give, a, let's give a walk around. Okay, I hope this is this is steady enough for you. But basically, you're just making a big rectangle here with a one inch PVC pipe. And this T here is reamed out so that this spins inside of here like this. Now on Mike's, he went and put four pieces of some kind of an angle iron or uh, I don't know what they call it. But um, I just went and put this, this bolt through this all thread and put a nut here and then a nut out here and then I can adjust these to make sure that this is perfectly round so that works fine now the the key to remember is like the, it's basically four of these tubs or buckets you come down seven inches and you cut it off come down seven inches cut it off so this is the front the back and then you cut one up off here you cut the bottom off and then slice it up and then when you slice it up you just bend the bucket around the same thing here you cut the bottom off of a bucket so this is four buckets totally totally total <laughs> four buckets total and um, they were like three dollars at, at uh, Home Depot but you cut the bottom off of this one and you slice it up and then open it up and this becomes your chute now the one key to remember is when you're when you're in the infeed you want to make sure that the cage the wire mesh is on the outside that way this flows from the plastic to that but down there you'll see that the, that, the, um, that the wire mesh is on the inside. So basically what happens is this is a quarter inch screen and it's a two foot wide quarter inch screen. And then, um, no, I'm sorry, this is a half inch. But you can take the quarter inch, wrap it around and then bungee strap it. In one of Mike's videos, he shows doing that. 
So you just wrap it around there and then it will it will screen. You can even put an eighth of an inch if you want to. And then I've just got this 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 just bungeed here or um you know just these little straps here. Um you know these ties. And so um oh and on here what what it is is this is a four-way, a one inch four-way, and you have to ream this out with a one and three eighths, but that's also on his site. So you have to ream this out to, to allow this to spin. And then these are all glued pieces, and this is a one and a half inch, or one and a quarter inch, that slid over top of here so that you can spin this on here like this. And then the legs are kind of a no-brainer. You can do anything you want with the legs. I just kind of made my own design with the legs. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And I've got the all-thread also on here, where it's, I've got these um, lock, lock nuts on here to hold it to here, and then this, is you know, oh and when i when i attach this it's a hardware cloth if you're looking for it online I, I got that at home depot and it's called hardware cloth half inch and you can buy quarter inch um i use these fender washers to hold this on so you just put a regular washer on the inside a fender washer here to hold this down to the bucket and then of course to secure it you just use these zip ties and that's pretty much it's not it, it's it's not rocket science and these here this is a quarter, uh, one and a quarter inch that I, that I put up on here, and I held it on with uh, screws. That way when I lift this up, see it falls, it, it, it comes out. So that way I can just sponge, bungee these together and then um, hang it up. So anyways, if you have any questions, go ahead and, and, and fire off some questions. I don't mind answering them if I can. But I'll put a link below to his hand trommel, and um, I think you'll be able to read his instructions pretty well. It's... Um, I think he takes a lot for granted though when he does it because um, it just he he just uses words and you just go okay let's do this now do that so anyways it, it it took me a while to figure it out but I did watch a few other videos where there are some people online that did some modifications and I think they did a really good job and so I kind of went I I fed off all the different videos that I found so anyways there it is if you have any questions go ahead and post them below and I'll try to answer them if I can okay so anyways there is the hand trommel. Uh, compost sifter. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.